In a sense V had no past of his own just forged memories and a second-hand personality. But it still felt as if V'd merely jumped from savannah to jungle one and the same person before and after. All invariants intact. Let me talk about Greg Egan. A uh, topic for today is why Diaspora Chapter 15 is not so complicated. Before the main issue, we should know how the characters in Diaspora transfer to the different infrastructure from their own ones. The quote at the beginning of this video vividly shows about that. In the Chapter 3, Yatima and Viz uh, Egan created sexless personal pronoun for the sexless citizens such as Yatima and Viz friend Inosho visit Fresher's city Atlanta with using abandoned Glazner body. As always, let's follow what V and V's friend has experienced with seeing some charts. Yatima and Inoshiro cross-translated their identities in variants in the words of Yatima and Monologue for executing them on the electronic brain of Glazner. At the same time, they suspended themselves as frozen snapshot at home police while their visit in Atlanta. Who is in the Glazner body? In the chart, I describe them as Yatima Dash and Inoshiro Dash because in general sense, they are never absolutely Yatima and Inoshiro as natives of their police. However, as the previous course shows, Yatima felt were the same person before and after. This is typically swamp mom problem. In the diaspora world, when somebody has the completely same memory and thought way as the another one, they are identified as the same person beyond doubt, generally at least. But that is unobvious for us. We can find a similar discussion about that also in Permutation City. Maria the heroine hopes to provide her dying mother Francesca a chance to be scanned for preparing her copy. Maria believes the copy is also her mother Francesca. However, Francesca refused her daughter's proposal with the following quote. The thing is, I have my own sense, right now, of who I am. What my boundaries are. It doesn't include a copy of me run at some time in the indefinite future. Can you understand that? Being scanned wouldn't make me feel any better about dying whatever a copy of me might think if one was ever run. But I digress. How did the Atima self think about? Philosophically. It wasn't all that different from being shifted within the polis from one section of physical memory to another. An undetectable act which the operating system performed on every citizen from time to time, to reclaim fragmented memory space. This quote obviously means what we call garbage collection. Yakima even seemed to have forced this feeling against his own anxiousness of identity. Yes, indeed. Let's think about ourselves in real life. Any atom constructing our body is no longer the same as someone we had when we were born. But we feel us the same person beyond that. Essentially, Yatima's issue and ours are the same. Well, how about the next case? After visit to Atlanta, Yatima and Inoshiro returned to their police. They overrode themselves in police by their latest versions executing on Glazner body until just before. I describe them as Yatima Double Dash and Inoshiro Double Dash. As a result, not only the version on Glazner, but their old frozen snapshots vanished. Don't you think something is wrong? Well, Let's refer to more drastic case. Yatima got to know Oran Venetti a fresher in Atlanta. In the chapter 5, V was obliged to get him away to police. As a result, 
Orlando Dash later joined the journey to outer cosmic space with Burr. But this intruders made the fresher body of Orlando Venetti a waste. Based on common sense, we should say he died. Well, at last we can make a start the chapter 15 program. Yatima, technically one of these clones getting in diaspora or the journey to outer cosmic space, discover the way to the another universe called U Star. It is six dimensional universe. That means U Star has the ordinary three directions and then other two directions, quadral and quintal. Too difficult to imagine. Actually, the chapter 15 explains how is the six dimensional universe. Euster shared theory of everything with the home universe. However, added two dimensions make any non physical rule behave quite differently from our four dimensional universe. This explanation makes the chapter 15 much so complicated. Egan could have done with just saying U star is exotic, but he seemed to dare to choose more difficult way. Why? The reason appears in Oran's speech in the following quote. So this is the macrosphere's equivalent of a hydrogen atom? Very figurative monologue, especially Egan let Orlando, who was forced his intruders without his own will, speak this. That means nothing in Euster is materially the same as something in our home universe. Yatima Dabrudash and his companions, including Orlando, built the equivalent for their police by using materials in Euster and send the clones of themselves there. As a result, Yatima Triple Dash was generated in Euster. B has materially nothing in common with B's original one anymore, excepting B's own invariant holding the infinity of mind. It is much easier to assume something just like spirit, soul, or something else just like magic. Of course, Egan never chose such the way for keeping his story within the range of mathematics. I would like to call that his sincerity again. Well, what did Egan hope to show us through this plot? In a few words, hope and change in my opinion. Mathematically, we have hope, the infinity of mind, and the possibility of immortality. Meanwhile, that leaves us no other options but to change ourselves. I wonder, generally, the title of diaspora is understood as the Asians break up to the infinity of the universe. However, I found another meaning there. We saying goodbye to everything we depend on, but we can keep marching on the infinity and the possibility of ourselves. I believe this is the message from Greg Egan. As we saw, diaspora is almost ultimate, but not the most ultimate. The most ultimate of Egan is permutation city, in my opinion. So, the next is why permutation city is the most ultimate. See you around.